Rosenfeld. Let's get to an email question now. It has to do with colonoscopies, which are so important to detect colon cancer. One viewer asks, I had a routine colonoscopy recently and was told I had diverticulitis. What food should I avoid? How about that, Doc? Now, the question, Eric, was I have diverticulosis, and diverticulosis and diverticulitis are two different things. Really? Yeah. All right. Now, this is a very important question because diverticulosis is very, very common. Uh, it would be reported to you during a routine colonoscopy, and all it is are finger-like projections from your large bowel. There are little weaknesses in the ball in the bowel, and they're finger-like polyp uh, projections. And they're called diverticuli. Now, these are there when they're there, and they don't give you any problem. It's called diverticulosis. Mm. The myth is that people with diverticulosis used to be told to avoid seeds and things like that that can get into these little pouches and inflame them. That's nonsense. If you have diverticulosis, I'm saying this to the viewer who sent us this email, you can eat whatever you want. Eat all, eat anything, eat corn, anything that we used to think was, was forbidden. Eat fiber, eat the normal diet. Now sometimes these diverticuli, the diverticulosis becomes inflamed. And we don't know why it becomes inflamed, but then it's called diverticulitis. And the diverticulitis is painful, it gives you diarrhea, gives you constipation, it gives you cramping, it gives you fever. That's a different ball game. Under those circumstances, when your diverticulosis becomes diverticulitis, then you may need antibiotics, then you have to be on a very bland, low residue diet until the acute phase passes. Once it passes and you return to your diverticulosis, you can eat whatever you want. Better check with your doctor. Thanks, Doc.